I just updated my OnePlus 7 to the latest Oxygen OS update. So it's now finally running Android 12. So four things I noticed uh, about my phone after updating it, which I'm going to mention. There's probably more things that you'll notice. The very first thing that I thought was pretty annoying is I locked my screen. And then the day, time, battery percentage, as well as some uh, notification icons would display. It'd be on for 5 to 10 seconds and then turn off. Uh, I thought that was kind of annoying. I just wanted it to turn off. So that's the first thing. And to turn that off, is it happens to be always on display setting. So if you go into settings and you search for always on display under settings. So if you go, I just typed always. And just look for always on display under personalizations. Just turn that off. And now when you lock the screen, it'll actually turn everything off and this fingerprint will just be on for a second and turn off. So that's how it was before for me. So I guess something happened or this is a new feature they want to show off. I don't care much for always on display. Okay, the next thing is from the top right. Before, this never used to happen to me. It'd bring all this weird stuff. I'm used to the settings shortcuts showing up like this. So, what's it called? This is called the shelf or whatever. I have no idea what the shelf is. And now it counts my steps and stuff like that. I guess that's probably going to be the fifth thing. But what do you call it? I don't really care for this shelf. I don't really use it. So to disable that, I went into settings icon. It says launch shelf from the top right corner. And I disabled that. Disable that. That's the second thing I want you, wanted to mention. The from the top right corner, there's the shelf. Third thing is the battery charging. It's the middle of the night, and I'm trying to charge my battery, and it's wasn't really charging. It's kind of stuck here at eighty percent. So the next thing that they've created in Android twelve, I guess, is optimized night charging, which is similar to what iPhones do kind of disables the charging until it gets close to when you wake up so it extends the battery life if you don't care for this you can always just click on there don't optimize this time <clears throat> and it'll I think it'll probably disable it for this one time or you can go into settings can go into optimized night charging and you can disable or enable it from over here it's this setting it's enabled now you can disable it okay that's the third thing that I noticed um, let's go on to the fourth thing it is locked apps so if you, let's say you have settings open, you can lock it. Locking means if you close all in the app drawer over here. So from the bottom, slide up, get the app drawer. If it's a locked app, it means when you close all, it'll st stay there. It won't close it. It's locked. It's a locked app, so do not touch. So you can see... Even though I closed all, the settings app is still open. One thing that I think has changed in Android 12 is now if I swipe it up to force close an individual app, even though it's locked, you can force close an individual app. This was probably done because people might accidentally lock an app that they didn't want to do and they don't understand the whole concept of locking apps. Or I could be wrong, I'm not sure. <clears throat> But in Android 12, you can force close locked apps uh, just for individual ones by swiping up. So there, you can see I force closed the uh, 
locked at for that individual one. <clears throat> and like I said, for number five, uh, what was number five I was talking about? One of the settings. Oh, steps. And now it's starting to count steps. I never noticed that in Android 11. But anyways, those were some things I noticed uh, after updating to Oxygen OS with Android 12. I'm on OnePlus 7. Maybe you know some other things. Let me know. I know uh, for the display and how you know apps are done, it's changed. My brother's mentioning it to me, but that's really confusing. So, anyways, yeah, mention it or if I'm wrong, let me know. I'll correct the description and so forth. So, have a good one.